Hello everybody, morning. I was talking to Grace yesterday about her cat Marmalade, um, so it's lovely to hear about him, but I thought I'd find a book about a cat today, so I've chosen Chester. So. It starts by saying, Dear readers, I apologise for Chester's behaviour in my mouse story. Sorry for the inconvenience. And at the bottom you can see Chester's written blah, blah, blah. Once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country. Then the mouse packed his bags and went on a trip very, very far away and we never saw him again. So Chester moved in and made a few changes to his new place. You can see all the things he's doing. But Mouse returned home. Oh yes, did I mention he brought back a really big souvenir with teeth? Dog. Back to the story. Once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in Chester. Moved out of the way. He lived in the country with a vegetarian dog who only ate carrots. And then Melanie begged Chester to write a better story and it goes something like this. Once upon a time there was me. Chester stands for charming, handsome, envy of mouse, smart, talented, envy of Melanie, really handsome. Chester lived in Chesterville where mice weren't allowed. It was a beautiful day. Until it started to rain. Now, as I was saying, once upon a time, there was a mouse. He lived in a house in the country. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Chester, this is where I draw the line. Nope, I'm drawing the line. Do not cross this line. Keep out Chester's side. Chester, that's enough. Hand over the marker this instant. Chester's busy. There's some drawing all over the page. Chester, I'm warning you. Hand over the marker and apologise before I count to three. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty, la, 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 la. All right, Chester. You want your own story? You want to be the star of this book? Well, get ready. Here it is. Finally. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Chester. He lived in the house in the country. Chester was a very handsome cat, especially when he wore his pink. You wouldn't. Tutu. Now it's personal. Oh, you can see drawn all over the author's face. Anyway, I'm off to work now to interview some more teachers to see who we've got for next year. So have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.